Good afternoon everyone and welcome to Objective Blue Sports in the show and I'm John Mauricio. Today I have some very special guests, good looking and and pretty beautiful oh. Filipina. The start of the show uh, and the name of the show is not one but two. Well, tell us more about it. So uh, yeah, not one but two is a uh, is a phrase that uh, means don't ever try meth, but it's also a, a meaning of a, a play on words. Uh, Batu is fil uh, Tagalog for stone, um, which means cr rock, and so crystal meth is another is that's one of the nicknames. So it's a, it's about a, a, a ex addict turned drug dealer of crystal meth and how she navigates through her world um, in Hawaii. In the uh, meth epidemic, and I would like to welcome Marie Treadway Hello. to the show. Hi, Marie <laughs> nice and Bobby Wilhelmson. Yes, <laughs> welcome to the show. Thank you. And they are both Filipino descent. Yes. All right. Welcome <laughs> to the show. Uh, How you guys met? Yeah, it's a really funny <laughs> story, actually. So we met what two years, three years three. now, three, three years, years now. Ago. Um, at an acting competition for a uh, college theater festival, uh, the American College Theater Festival, ACTF is what they call it. Mm -hmm. And we made it to the next round of this acting competition, and we're waiting to hear feedback from the judges. And we're on opposite sides of the hallway, just sitting down, and there's like 30 actors in this hallway. Yeah. And, oh. and then I'm looking around at all the actors that are just talking and stuff, and I'm like, I think... I think we're the only Filipinos. Yeah, in we're this, the only Filipinos. The... <laughs> and so I look at Marie. I'm like, I'm like, are you Filipino? And she's like, Yeah. I'm like, Yeah. And so <laughs> I, like anything, we just talk. And now we became friends, stayed in contact, and mm -hmm. now three years later, we're both right, making yeah. our stage debut in Chicago. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Bobby yes. moved to Chicago. Well, how did you get recently. involved with Hannah? F E Epstein. E. Epstein. The, um, the 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 writer of the the play. Not yeah. one, but two. Yeah, so uh, there was a kind of a open call for uh, Asian Americans, Pacific Islanders, um, anyone of that descent. And so we were invited to attend a workshop um, led by our, the director of the show. And uh, it was a, a really great workshop. We were able to create some things and, 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 and play with each other. And then through that, it was kind of a surprise audition and so she cast the show from those workshops. So um, Hannah is the writer of the play, um, and so she was there with us throughout the process, and then tell, and then cast the people. Tell more about Hannah. So Hannah is a native from Hawaii. Uh, she was born and raised, and then recently, she, not recently, she's been here a while actually, but she she's moved to Chicago, um, and is a is a writer. She just graduated from Northwestern. With her, her masters, um, masters. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and she's a wonderful playwright, and she um, wrote this play um, and sent it to Hawaii, and actually uh, premiered in Hawaii uh, three years ago. Twenty sixteen. Twenty sixteen, um, and then now she, they're bringing it here. Oh my! God. And it was nominated for tons of awards. Six won some awards. awards. Yeah, yeah, won some so won it, six awards in Hawaii. Okay, again, tell us, you know, for the viewing uh, audience. Tell us more about not one, but two story. Yeah, oh, and so it's about, really it's about Honey Girl trying to make it through Hawaii with all of these problems of drugs just everywhere. And each character that shows up in the story along Honey Girl's journey um, is bringing this problem of meth along somehow. And it's a big problem in Hawaii. A lot of the people on mainland see Hawaii as like an oasis, paradise where really that's just the tip of the iceberg of what Hawaii is. When the people that live there, there's such a, it's such a big problem because Hawaii is an island mm -hmm. and it's so, the drug problem there is so contained that it's just infesting. To get out, yeah. And so, and the mainland people here don't really know that side. Well, the play was uh, produced in partnership with Aloha Center. <laughs> mm -hmm. How involved is the Aloha Center? Uh, yeah, so they they actually hosted the workshops that I was talking about earlier, and uh, the play actually consists of two acts, and the first one is in a, more of an immersive kind of 
Welcome to Hawaii, welcome to our world, and Aloha Center is actually going to be providing some music and some entertainment, um, as well as uh, presenting a little bit about Hawaii and the culture, and then once that first act wraps up, everybody's actually going to be taking outside, at, and Lake Michigan is going to stand in for the Pacific Ocean. And yeah. it's going to be outside, and the play starts. That the the straight play starts. So if you were to watch it, you'd be completely immersed in what our world is. So yeah, yeah. yeah. And so characters will be coming in from anywhere. We got to put some volcanoes in there. <laughs> there <you go. laughs> That's and, perfect. And we we some lay. Yeah. You know. Oh yeah. 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 That's beautiful. Yeah. This play was produced before in Chicago, right? In, Ho in Hawaii. In Hawaii. This, is in the, Hawaii. this, this uh, production is the mainland debut. Chicago oh, premiere. Oh, this is our yeah. mainland debut. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> and where is this uh, play going to be? Where is this thing It's at going? Burger Park. Um, Co uh, the first act is going to be at the coach house, inside the coach house in Burger Park. And then, and then like I said, in the second act, we're going to be taken outside right by the water. Uh, a burger park. It's uh, in Edgewater. Yeah. Uh, really beautiful, beautiful place. Well, you, you know, you two are like a native Hawaiian and also Filipino, you know. Can you give us some insight of what's, uh, what's involved between you two in, in the show? Yeah, so for me, and it's, it's great to like see, because I'm not native Hawaiian, I'm I'm half Filipino doing it, and but to to play to play a character that's living to play Filipino in Hawaii. This is actually also our first time actually playing Filipino in ever, a show in ever. Our careers, yeah. So and we've been acting for eight ten years plus, and we've never played Filipino before. Really? No. The Phil and it's an underrepresented. Um, the underrepresented. Yeah. So well, it's crazy. I'm glad that you met Hana and. Uh, I think this show and, and nothing without a company itself has been really great in um, providing opportunities uh, for underrepresented, whether it be race, sexual orientation. It's been really, really great. And um, I think it's so gratifying to have a cast full of people of color and say, this is the first time we ever get to play our race. Yeah. Uh, we get to play. And uh, I think over half. Maybe like four or five people of our cast are Filipino. Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah. we actually get to represent and tell a story that exactly. doesn't get told. Right. Well, you, you know, the Philippine in, Independence, June 12th. Yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, June is June is our month, so right? it's actually yeah, pretty perfect. And, and, uh, yeah. It's high time that we highlight. Hannah, About thank time. you very much for showing us. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, Some Hannah Filipino and Anna, um, mm -hmm. her wife, uh, is the producer of the show, and they, yeah, they really yeah. And, afforded uh, a great opportunity how did for they, us. How did they discover other ethnic groups? You know, that, you know yeah. casting, casting in not one but two. Yeah. Uh, how, how did you look for, for the talent? So, yeah, so they put out an open call. Um, and then they cast them, most of the people from that workshop, but then there were still some roles that the director needed to fill. And so I knew Bobby was Filipino, so I <laughs> tagged him in some Facebook, On Facebook stuff yeah. and was like, hey, you know, I'll try out for this role. And then he ended up coming in for a reading. Uh, where can they get the tickets? Uh, I, I like to... Uh... Yeah, so you, you awesome. can the you, tickets could be purchased where? Um, you can order them online on nothingwithoutacompany.org. Uh, and you can order tickets there, and then mm -hmm. also I'm, we have we walk, have a Facebook page. Facebook page. You can walk up to Burger Park and get tickets day of. Oh, okay. And yeah. and, like and how long is the play going to run? Uh, it opens on June twenty seventh and closes July twenty first. But next week we go into previews, which is actually a discounted rate, and you still get to see a really great show. Yeah. Um, just kind of the soft opening before yeah. we open on the 27th. Well, I don't know whether the question applies to you guys. Do you uh, do you accept a, a submission for the future shows? I think I think nothing with a company accepts yet. plays for recommend or for plays and yeah, actors for yeah. consideration and things like that. Definitely. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Well, you, you know, you guys are. I'm so proud that being a Filipino will be the. Highlights of the show. Fine. Yeah, we talk true. about it every uh, day. All the time. Because <laughs> usually, usually it's like one Filipino and then everybody else. And this time it's all the Filipinos and like one, one guy. One 
uh, one in the play, Haole, oh, you Lee. know, the white white person for the yeah. mainland, <laughs> All and right. everybody else is... I, I, I call Filipino Filipinese. Filipinos. I don't call them Filipino. <laughs> Chinese, Japanese, Vietnamese. Yep. They're ending in ES. Yeah. Filipinese. Filipinese, I like that, I like that now, too. So, uh, now, do you have any uh, last words to the viewing audience, the okay. Pilip <laughs> Filipinese viewing audience? Okay. <laughs> last word for you. What's your message to them? I think please come out and see amazingly talented Filipino American actors as well as other people of color, uh, as well as people who are really interested in poignant and all, at times heartbreaking, at times hilarious um, message about what drugs can do to families yes. um, and cultures. So please come out and see our show. Yeah, yes. Bobby, that's what we're doing. Absolutely. Be proud of who you are, who you want to represent, and go out and find a story that you don't know anything about and, you know, hear that side and see see what you can come, come up with because there's tons of stories out there that we just don't even know or that aren't being told so yeah this is I, I like the, the timing is very very good because now the government is getting involved in uh, fighting opioid uh, epidemic in, in not only Chicago but throughout the United States probably the world you know and look like the play will play a role in creating awareness yes. about drugs exactly yes. so and drug is actually the main antagonist villain in the show. Yes, you know. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Well, you didn't say that before. <laughs> <laughs> and this is Joe Mauricio and saying Mabuhay.